In this excerpt from Liszt's Hungarian Rhapsody, um, there's a few things that we want to focus on. We want to focus on nice, bold fortissimo, big sound that we can produce on the bassoon. We want clean articulations, and we want steady rhythm, steady eighth notes. So this passage, um, it, you know, kind of replicates a low brass instrument, a trombone. Um, we want to have that image in our head. We want to have that sound in our head. So a really assertive, nice big bassoon sound. And we kind of present these first three notes as a fanfare. So we're listening to our intonation. We're checking that with the tuner on these notes. And we want to establish a really nice, strong, steady um, motive of these quarter notes with the accents. So you notice that there's a little bit firmer tongue, you know, pressing of our air in order to get those accents on those quarter notes. And we just want to make sure that we're really careful with our counting. We play a nice dotted quarter note. Bum, 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 bum. And we come in at the right time when we move to our eighth notes. So this eighth note pattern that we have uh, descending most of these, we want to really focus on clean articulation, making sure that we're flicking on those A's and B's um, whenever we have those, because we don't want these eighth notes to crack, especially important when we're playing a forte or fortissimo volume. And we want to drive our sound through those. Again, it stays fortissimo. It stays very sustained. Um, and so that's one of the exercises playing through this whole passage all the way until measure 289 where we have the diminuendo. The majority of this is forte, so we want to show that we can continue to increase our airflow to get that dynamic. Um, also notice in the sixth measure, two, three, um, we have that sforzando, so we want to make sure that we're ready for that, and we give a nice sforzando um, accent on that B natural at the top. Another exercise you can try, you know, make sure when you're first learning this that you're going at a slow tempo, really listening for those articulation, um, that cleanliness on the beginning of the notes. Go through it all slow and make sure that that's in place before we try to go faster. So one thing I like to do um, with the metronome is go at half speed. So if I turn my metronome on, so this is 124, this is the top range of the marked tempo. So I can still keep this on as my quarter note pulse, but I'm just going to play it at half time. So this is going to turn into my eighth note pulse when I practice. to all your dynamics, your articulations, and then we can speed it up. You know, really listen that our registers match um, resonance and sound quality. So when we when we go back to the high register, um, and that's measure 286, when we have high D, high F sharp, we really want to try to support that with nice, good breath support so that those high notes sound just as good and rich as our low notes. Also, just make sure that, so we have a nice finish to this excerpt, that we do follow the diminuendo in measure 289, and measure 290 still kind of continues that quieter end. Bum, bum, bum. So we have a little bit of a gentle ending to it, um, and that'll give you a nice um, conclusion to the, to the excerpt we play. <laughs> 